Hello and welcome to epitometrading.com tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to add moving averages and MACD to our Thinkorswim platform charts. So we'll go ahead and bring up our Thinkorswim. Okay, and I'm on the charts tab and on the charts bubble. Let me go ahead and add in the euro dollar. Okay, and then you see the charts default will come up just like this. I'm on a five minute. Here's where you can change into your time frames. And also under style, you can change your time frames as well and go even further out. So we're going to go ahead and use the uh, five minute chart. Okay, and one place you can go to add the moving averages is right here under studies. And you have quick studies. As you can see, we have all your studies in here in alphabetic order. And then we have some popular studies down here and other studies. But we do have moving averages on the list. So we'll go ahead and pick the moving average exponential. So I like to use the ex exponential moving averages over the simple averages for trading Forex. All right, and as you can see, I'm using the plus sign magnifying glass to zoom it in. And as you can see, our moving average is right there on the chart. Okay, so if you go to this first tab here, this is our studies and strategies. This is where you can go in and edit your moving averages. You just click on it there and it'll pop up in an edit area box. And let's say you want to change this to a 50 moving average. You can go ahead and use the arrows or you can just go ahead and click on it. Highlight it and type in 50. Now one thing you can do Let's change the drawing to, well, I usually use lines, so you can change any style you like. They have a bunch of different ones. And also, this is just a solid line. Uh, I like to use dash lines a little bit. It keeps it more in the background, so you can actually see the price action bars a lot easier. And you can change the width of the bar. We're going to go ahead and leave it one. Here's where you can change the color. You can pick one of their colors here or select any color from their chart. Um, Let's go ahead and pick red or 50. And then you just click apply and OK. And as you can see, our 50 is on there. We'll go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, it does not keep our time frame zoom. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and zoom in. We're going to keep our zoom in chart. Go ahead to the wrench here. Click on that. It'll bring up the bunch of tabs here. We're going to go to time axis and let's go down to this and check this box here. Just keep this time zoom and we'll click apply and OK. This way it'll keep whatever time frame, whatever zoom that you're in on each each time. As you can see we'll go ahead and go into a 15 and it keeps the chart in our zoom area. And if you go to style here you can change it from bar to candle, to candle trend, to line, area, whichever you decide. We're going to go ahead and change them to candles, candlesticks. Okay, and uh, Epitome Train, we do like to use the 8 and 21 EMA. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this box right here, this button. This is where our, our studies and strategies are. Okay, you have on the left side, you have all your studies. Can choose this and scroll down to moving averages and this time we're going to do moving averages two lines so you can double click on that and it'll bring up to our edit area so we're going to go ahead and change the fast length to an 8 and the slow length to a 21 and we do like to use the exponential moving averages over the simple when trading on Forex and this time I'll leave them lines and let you see the lines compared to the actual slash lines. Here's where you can change the fast and slow. And maybe we'll make the slow we'll go cyan. Another thing you can do is uh, not show the actual price of the moving averages. So we'll go ahead and uncheck the bubbles. This way it doesn't have too many bubbles on our chart on the side. I'll click apply. Okay. Okay, we have our eight. 
we have our 21 and we have our dotted line 50. And you can see how the lines kind of, they really go right over the bars and they really cover them a little bit. It's kind of why I like using dotted lines. It kind of keeps the moving average in the background. So it's not popping out too much of a visual. As you can see the bubble here, we have the 50 bubble still up. And then you have your price bubble. Now if you wanted to keep the bubbles, you'd have a bubble here and a bubble here for the moving averages. But it kind of makes your chart all clouded up with bubbles over here. And, and when they come together, you're not going to be able to see the actual price bubble. Okay, so one more thing we can add while we're here. We're going to add our MACD. We'll go back into the studies button. And another place you can search and add studies is right in this box here. We can go ahead and we'll type in MACD. As you can see, it'll just bring up all the MACD choices. You got histogram, your two lines. We're going to go ahead with the standard default MACD. And as you can see, it's already set. You can adjust it however your preferences are, colors, whatever you decide. We're just going to leave it. Go ahead and use the default. I'll click apply. Okay. Okay. There you have it. You got the chart with some moving averages. We have our MACD. And I'm going to go ahead and change those moving averages to slot it on the other ones. You can go right back in. Go back to our 821 on the fast, and we'll go ahead and make them slotted. And click apply. There we go. And now we're going to have them all slotted. And you can see, you can see some of the price action bars going on and swing points. All right, I hope this uh, video was informational and stay tuned. We'll be, we'll be having more tutorial videos here at Epitome Trading. Thank you.